GenTAC. It's a national research study that's designed to investigate the causes of and the best medical practices for thoracic aortic aneurysms and dissections. <coughs> GenTAC is meant to be a centralized resource that provides researchers with the information and biological samples that they'll need to answer important questions about TAAD from all sorts of causes and um, reasons. Why does it exist? Well, um, you guys already know the answer to that. Um, it's because um, we know too, way too little about thoracic aortic aneurysms and what causes them and what is the best approach to managing them and even um, hopefully someday cure aneurysms. Um, the National Institutes of Health recognized this and put together a proposal um, to create what's called a National Registry of Genetically Triggered aortic, Thoracic Aortic Aneurysms and Related Cardiovascular Conditions. And um, as I said, that um, they understood that we knew way too little. They also appreciated the fact that too few resources had been put into research in this area, and this is their um, approach in um, solving that problem. They also understand, as we do, that um, understanding the causes and knowing what best medical practices are for thoracic aortic aneurysms will save lives and it will also improve the lives of those affected by TAAD, including family members who may not be affected directly but have the emotional impact of having a loved one with an aneurysm. So the way that GenTAC came about is um, fairly typical of research programs. Um, NIH use a competitive peer review process um, to create and contract a team of investigators to create GenTAC, and I am one of those investigators. The GenTAC investigators were sele selected based on their known expertise and commitment to biomedical research on TEAD and their ability to recruit appropriate study sections, uh, uh, subjects throughout the United States, and so this is how we came together. Um, the research consortium um, came together in October of 2006, and we spent about a year creating policies, procedures, and developing the, the infrastructure for GenTAC. Um, the consortium consists of six different parts, a data coordinating center, which is um, housed with RTI International Research Triangle Institute International in Washington, DC. They have over 50 years experience of um, heading these types of studies. And five re regional clinical research centers, um, which we term RCCs, that are spread around the country that um, populate the GenTAC registry. We finalized our uh, planning in November of 2007 and uh, written, um, officially opened enrollment for GenTAC at that time. So what are our goals? Why are we doing this specifically? Well, one of the things that we want to do is to learn from those who live with the threat of aneurysms. What is it that we need to know from you to better do our job and to better address the problem? Because nobody knows this field really honestly better than all of you. And then our, our major goal then is to put together a resource that we can, so that we can do research to discover what we can do to decrease this threat of disease and to improve the risk um, um, for those uh, who are at risk and to improve their lives and to understand the risk. And also to manage existing disease, predict risk of those who may develop disease in a much better way than we currently do, prevent disease for those at risk, and the ultimate holy grail of all of this is to cure the disease. And that might not be as far-fetched as it sounds, fortunately. We did develop a mission statement, and I will read it directly to you because I think it is a powerful statement of what GenTAC is about. The purpose of GenTAC is to enable research to determine best medical practices to advance the clinical management of genetic thoracic aortic aneurysms and other cardiovascular complications. And that was really, um, took us a long time to put together that sentence because we wanted to, it to encompass everything that GenTAC is about. As I mentioned, um, GenTAC was uh, originated by the National Institutes of Health. They are our financial sponsor. In particular, um, if, if you're not familiar with NIH at a, at a detailed level, it's not just one institute, it's actually a collection of different institutes and two of their member institutes, the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute and National Arthritis, Musculoskeletal, and Skin Diseases are the two organizations that devoted part of their budget to making GenPAC possible, and so they're our direct financial sponsor. So our goal in terms of the registry, the GenTAC registry, is to enroll 2,800 individuals with what we define as genetically triggered thoracic aortic aneurysms into our bio registry. So 
So you might recognize a registry as being a collection of names, contact information, maybe medical information on individuals. We've taken this several steps further so that we include blood samples so that we have access to genetic material from study subjects and aortic tissue when it is available from necessary surgical pr uh, procedures to be part of our registry so that our registry has real strength and power in that we can not only look at, at um, studies from an epidemiological um, point of view, but also to do real biomedical research um, at um, essentially the cellular level.